right, let me show you how you can implement the key user concept using our SAP add-on. Uh, this user is a simple end user, so it can't uh, send tickets directly to HP Service Manager. Now let's try to execute uh, transaction SU01, but now I get an error message that I don't have authorization for that. So let's submit a ticket. <coughs> I double click on the SAP logo, allow the program to take a screenshot. Now I can enter a subject. Um, and because uh, this user is defined as an end user, uh, now I have to select the key user from this drop down list who will get my ticket first. So uh, I will choose this user. Um, you have three options how you can um, map your key users to your end users. So basically, define what uh, values you will have in this drop down list. You can use the organization chart uh, functionality of SAP or the distribution list functionality of uh, SAP Office, or alternatively you can s maintain a simple customizing table where you map end users to key users. So uh, here we have the HP Service Manager fields down below, um, and now I'll press send. Now I get a notification that this ticket was sent uh, to the key user, so let's check what happens. So let's execute any user action, and then I get, oh, all right, I get uh, multiple um, messages. Uh, I've made some tests previously, but let's check the last one. So this is an, a mes SAP message <coughs> informing me about the ticket that was sent. Of course, you can set this up in a way that uh, a standard email is sent to any email address. And now you can verify if it's really a, a problem or just a user mistake. Um, we could go through all the uh, attachments like the screenshot, a PDF containing all the system information, but now the most important one is this one, which is the output of the standard authorization report, SU53. And here you can see that this user uh, really wanted to execute uh, transaction SU01 and that, that failed. So that's the reason uh, why uh, the user can't start the transaction. So now uh, let me start a special uh, report that shows all the tickets that was uh, uh, that were sent to me, to my user as a key user. So this is the one uh, that was just created. This is the end user, and now I have the chance to either reject the ticket uh, or send it to HP Service Manager. So now I believe this is a real problem. So let's uh, send it. Of course, as a, I'm a key user, you can, I can maybe add extra comments. I can even change the proposed values here. So um, I might uh, change the impact, the urgency. Maybe I know that this is a high urgency uh, ticket. And now I can send it to HP Service Manager. So you can see that um, here the main difference uh, is here the requested by field contains the key user and the contact person contains the end user who is actually having the problem. Naturally all the other fields are set as well so title, description, affected service, affected uh, uh, CI, all the categorization fields, um, source, impact, urgency and here we have all the attachments as well screenshot, the authorization report, and the PDF with all the system, user, and program details.